guys in this video we have Samsung S10 plus not charging and it's turned off I try put the charger for a few minutes but there is no sign of charging customer told me he let the device overnight charging also there is no sign so I'm going to let you see for a few seconds and then I will start tearing down the device In order to open this device we need to heat the back glass we don't have a fingerprint flex cable so we don't have to worry but we don't need to put the plastic piece into the middle it's very important because we don't need to damage anything in the middle this operation took a long time you can take all your time we don't need to broke the back glass it's from a glass not from plastic you can keep heating the bag glass with 2 Celsius degree for every 30 seconds and as you need. I will meet you in few seconds. Okay, the back has been removed. We have the wireless charging. This could be damaged during this operation. Otherwise, we don't have anything in here to be damaged. Now you can start removing all the screws from the board. Unplug the battery, plug it in, and then test again if the problem is solved. There is no sign of anything, the device doesn't even vibrate, so we don't have a problem with the screen. Now I'm going to check the voltage of the battery. Bring your multimeter to the voltage and the battery is 2.5 volt so the phone can start even charging there was a short cause to the phone we don't know what caused that short I'm going also to test the battery voltage to the connector it's 2.7 and this is weird maybe we have a problem with the charging port or with the IC so what I'm going now is to replace the charging port and see if the problem will be solved or not now you can tear down the device 
unplug screen flex cable remove sim card slot we have three screws tighten the port down two at the bottom and one at the top you need to remove them now we have the front camera unplug the front camera now we should be good to remove the board from the housing Let's start the soldering the old charging port. You can put Amtec flux paste to the old one and bring your heat gun. You can go with 4 and 50 Celsius degree to remove it. Now we are going to resolder the pads. Put empty flux paste and keep resolder the pads.
Okay, now we can put the new charging port and solder the new one. We are done, let the device cool down for 5 minutes Then we are going to do what is to charge the battery outside to 3.5 volts so the device can start charging again How to do that? You need to bring a charger with the 5 volt and then you can cut the wires you have the positive and the negative and then you put the positive to the positive to the multimeter and the negative to the negative to the multimeter as you saw at the beginning we was having 5 volt with the multimeter but when you put the negative to the positive at the battery the battery start charging now we reach 3.4 volt I'm going to keep it to the 5 or 6 and then you can let go and put the board down and the device should start charging again unless we don't have a problem with the charging IC if this worked then we have solved the problem and our job has been done in this case we were able to solve the problem by replacing the charging port if you have any question you can just write it in the comments below thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe we will do something else in the next video peace